Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do a technique called Shinkale, which is a type of collage that you do while you're printing. And it can be a really nice way of introducing pattern and different colour into your work without actually using different colour inks. So carry on watching and I hope you enjoy it. So this is the lino that I'm going to be printing and I quite like to have this pot there to have this pattern behind it. So first things first, I need to trace around the pot. This is just regular tracing paper. There you go. So then I need to transfer that onto this. So eventually, when we come to printing, the pattern is going to be facing the lino. So to make sure I cut the stencil the correct way round, I'm just going to flip it over and trace it on. So go over the pattern that way. Check that it is tracing on. Oh, just. Yep, I can just about see that. And now I'm going to cut it out. And now I have my cut out paper and hopefully that should fit on there. So now I need to ink up the plate and then I'll show you how we stick this to the paper. So I've inked up my plate and now I need to put some glue on this side of the paper before placing it onto the lino and for this we're going to be using what they call rice paste and it usually comes in a tube like this and it is what it suggests it's made up with rice um, you can make your own just by buying some white rice and boiling it up until it becomes really glutinous and it will end up so you can see that properly, like a white blobby mess. And then you strain it until it becomes more like a paste. The problem with that is that it won't last very long. So if you're not going to use it up very quickly, it's worthwhile to find some. Um, this is fairly cheap. Um, and I've had this for a few years now. Um, because it's got preservatives in it, so it's going to last quite a while. So I've put a little bit out in a pot and taking a uh, paintbrush I'm just going, you don't need to put too much we we'll start from the middle and work outwards because you don't want any glue going onto the other side of your paper If you're using a press you want to make sure you don't put too much glue on it because the pressure of the press will make it swirl out and you'll likely get streaks onto your print. But because I'm using uh, and burnishing techniques, you can afford to put a little bit more on. 
So get my plate and I'm going to very carefully play, put it in place. This is the fiddly part. There you go. So when you call the registration to line up my paper. And then I'm going to print. And I'm going to use a spoon. And really focus on where the paper is and make sure it really sticks down onto your paper. So let's see if that's stuck. This is the scary part. Oh, yes. There you go. You can see it's stuck. So give that a go with different um, colour papers, with different patterns. And let me know how you get on. Bye.